Hello, my name is Veena Sita Palli and I am from Hyderabad. Well, I am a retired preschool, primary school teacher and now I often go to the government girls school uh, to teach them stories and to teach them English, motivation, etc. I have also attended quite a few uh, international and regional storytelling festivals like Feast in Bangalore, Sydney Australian Storytellers Festival and recently the Chennai Story the Children's Storytelling Festival. So here I am presenting you a folk tale. It's about Lord Ganesha. Lord Ganesha is soon arriving and it is celebrated all over India. So let's see what this story is about. Sukhakarta Dukharta Varta Vignachi Nurvi Purvi Prema Krupa Jayachi. That is the little prayer or the arti that we sing to welcome the Lord and bring him inside the home. But this Lord Ganesha is very fond of food. Let's see what this story is about. Ready? Lord Ganesha was sitting with his mother Parvati and his father Lord Shiva. He was always asking for more and more food. Finally, Parvati told him, now the kitchen is closed. Remember, your mother also tells you sometimes that the kitchen is closed and you need to give your tummy a rest. But Ganesha was wondering where he can find some nice sweet food. And so he decided to check on his devotees. Come down to Mother Earth. He disguised himself as a small boy and he came into this village. He knocked at the door. The first man opened this door and saw this small boy. What do you want? He asked. I have a fistful of rice and a spoonful of milk. Can you make me some kheer, a rice pudding? Go away, we've got some other work to do, he shouted. And so closed the door. The little boy walked ahead to the next house and he knocked on the door again. Knock with me. Who is it? said the man woman. Ah, I have a fistful of rice and a spoonful of milk, he said. Can you make me some kheer? You think I have nothing else to do than to feed you some kheer? Go away. Find some other house. She started. And so he walked and walked and walked. He walked and walked and hopped to every house. Till it was almost sunset. His stomach was growling. And he was hungry. Ganesha had a big belly and could eat a lot of food. Now it was almost sunset and the little boy walked to the end of the village where he saw a very dim light and it was a thatched hut. Who could be living in this hut? And what is that old woman doing outside her home? He thought. Let me check if she can make me some rice kheer or pudding. And so he begged the old lady. I have just a spoonful of rice and a spoonful of milk. Can you make me some kheer, some rice pudding? He asked in a very sweet voice. The old lady called him inside and she said, Come, I will put your rice on the stove in a small pot and let it boil. 
and then I will add some milk and sugar and your kheer will be ready very soon. The little boy was very happy and he said, you make my kheer and I will take a round of the village and come back. And so the little boy walked and walked and walked, walked and walked and walked and all the children of the village gathered outside the old lady's house and What's cooking on the old lady's fire? They were wondering. Soon the kheer was ready and bubbling, but there was no sight of this little boy. And so she offered it to Lord Ganesha just like this. She waited and she waited and she thought, oh, why is Ganesha the is testing me. Is he not coming? I will just have a little bit of the sweet kheer and taste it. And she was about to lick it when the little boy came. Just as the little boy entered the house, he saw the old lady with the little kheer and he said, I am here, let me eat the kheer. And she said, of course you can eat the kheer, but I was just offering the kheer to little Ganesha before I give it to you. And quickly the little boy transformed himself into Ganesha itself and said, it's me, mother, it's me. I am very happy with you and bless you for making such sweet kheer for me with your patience and your hard work. And that is the story of the little boy of Bal Ganesh who went all round the village to seek out his devotees. Don't forget Lord Ganesh is very fond of food. So cook up some food and offer it to Ganesh before you start eating the food. And that's what we do every day, don't we? This is a folk tale from the mythologies of India. So, um, Lord Ganesh or the Ganesh festival it is celebrated all over India as Ganesh Chaturthi. So that is why I chose this story to tell all of you. Om Ganapataye Namo Namaha Siddhi Vinayaka Namo Namaha Ashta Vinayaka Namo Namaha Ganapati Bappa Moriya Om Ganapataye Namo Namaha Siddhi Vinayaka Namo Namaha Ashta Vinayaka Namo Namaha Ganpati Bappa Moriya Ganpati Bappa Moriya Mangal Murti Moriya Ganpati Bappa Moriya This is the way it is chanted during the Indian Hindu festival of Ganesh Chaturthi. All over India the festival is celebrated with lots of fervor, lots of goodwill, of course and lots of food because Lord Ganesha loves to eat all kinds of food and so he seeks out who his devotees are and goes and finds the food that he likes. Won't you serve him some food and then share it with everybody else and then sing Ganpati Bappa Moria Mangal Murti Moria So don't forget to cook something Offer it to the Lord with all your gratitude and devotion. And of course, share it with everyone. The story is a folk tale from the Indian Hindu mythology and also found in the Shiv Purana. Thank you.